Hey guys, in this video, I will show you one quick technique where you can change the x axis dates aggregation type based on the user input. So, for example, um, here what I have is the flexi order date, as you can see, that's what we want to achieve. And uh, what do we want is let's say year we are changing, then year is changing over here. If we want quarter, um, we're selecting over here, quarter is changed, month, week, or day. So if you're giving that flexibility to the user, uh, it will be much more beneficial for that because time related dimension is the thing which everybody wants uh, to be at their disposal so that they can change it as they want. But right now, if I don't have this arrangement and I'm using um what is by default then this is what is available to a developer or an explorer so it's like uh, if you have the tableau system you can do that and if i want as a developer i can change it to quarter or uh, to month or month like this all of this this sort of information based on the value changing from here so how i can do that uh, and make it dynamic is something which I want to talk about today all right so I'll just bring everything in their place as it is um, so by default as you can see it is coming with the year date but if I just remove the underlying calculation it should work fine based on what it is all right so let me create one sheet for you and show you from the start how we can do that so first thing is, uh, if I go back to this sheet, first thing is we need to create this dynamic date. So dynamic date is basically a parameter that I have created. You can come over here and click on the uh, create parameter. Once you click the create parameter, it will ask you to, uh, you know, create a date parameter. Dynamic date is something which I can enter uh, or dynamic date one maybe and so what my plan is not to recreate again but just to show you uh, how i have created it earlier so dynamic date and then string is basically the type and i want to choose it from the list um, value will be a uh, small letters but i want to display it as a normal uh, you know display like a caps uh, first letter is mentioned in caps and rest other in small so so day um then month and uh, then I have uh, quarter. Um, then I have uh, year. And uh, yeah, year. And one thing which, and one other thing that we can do is uh, we can even add week to it. So it should be small. Just make sure it's just so that our formula is working fine um yeah so we are good here and we can change the formatting like we have done it here so once it is done you will click ok once you click ok a field will be created parameter will be created here i'll just click cancel and i'll show you the dynamic date and edit so dynamic date string and day same settings which i just showed you and here i have chosen the current value as day you can choose whatever you like so that whenever your dashboard is opening or sheet is opening it is uh, available to you as a default input all right so let's go ahead and uh, so this is how we'll create the dynamic date once the dynamic date is created what we need to create is the calculated field which is basically picking up the information from here and that is what i have created over here from the uh, in the name of flexi order date so it's like a calculated field you can create it from here create calculated field so let's see how, what i have done over here if i go into the edit this is the uh, field name flexi order date you can choose whatever you like as per your needs of the business then it's just a small uh, formula which i'm providing which is date trunk dynamic date and order date is basically it is picking up from this order date uh, based on what we are changing the uh, day or week or selection that we are making so once we have 
made this uh, uh, formula which basically if you see uh, is something present over or in the front end as well so once your uh, flexi order date is uh, created you can drag it over here in the flexi order date and uh, keep it exact date which is flexi order date and uh, i'll just make sure that it is uh, discrete i believe and uh, i will just go ahead and uh, take sales let's say for example and here is what i have sales for i think every day um what i'll do is i will select the dynamic date to show parameter control um week if i want it's changed to week if i want month it is changed to month if i want quarter changed to quarter if i want year it is changed to the year all right so only one thing which you have noticed is uh, if you are showing this information it is coming up with this uh, time part which you can easily format if i go over here and click on the format and choosing only this part this information is changed so based on your need if i want, if you want to choose that this is what you need then you go ahead and choose it and uh, it will work as per what your selection is and your data is formatted as per needs so that's how you can uh, create or you can give the flexibility to the end user so that they can make the selection uh, based on they want day data week data month quarter or year